13-4 with Central Ohio's most accurate forecast. So the drum circle, the walk in the morning, the African American male wellness walk. Lots of people have weekend plans. I believe Is Festival Latino. Friend? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah so are plans. you our friend today? Yeah, definitely. Oh, without a doubt. This is going to be a great start to the weekend. We are going to have cool temperatures this evening, which means a brisk start to the day tomorrow and tons of sunshine. So we'll warm up very nicely. And we're going to be absent of that uh, stingy humidity that we had earlier this week. That will not be a big issue as we head into the start of the weekend. But later in the weekend, we are going to see rain chances starting to return. Live Viper radar tonight, pretty quiet outside. We've had some scattered clouds, mainly in the western half of the state this afternoon heading into this evening as we got sunset at about two hours and 15 minutes from now at 832 this evening. I do expect these clouds to give us a very nice look at uh, some spreading of the colors outside for sundown tonight. You can see a pretty look outside on the Mr. Reuter tower camera this evening as well and temperatures that are very comfortable. Normally we should be at 85 this time of the year. So even in the evening we should be in the upper or the middle to a lower 80s outside and we're only in the upper 70s right now. So we are running below normal. Some of us already down into the lower 70. So once that sun goes down, it is going to cool off quickly. Winds already are starting to relax in most spots down into the single digits this time. And that humidity is still very low at this hour, just sitting at 43%. So we've got fairly dry air outside and with skies gradually clearing this evening. I do expect to see another cool overnight tonight. In fact, for some of us, we could be a degree or two cooler than we were this morning, including here in the city. I think we're going to drop about two degrees cooler to start the morning off on Saturday. Now, you'll notice not a whole lot of cloud cover showing up here on the pinpoint forecast initially. However, that system is going to continue to kind of nudge its way towards our area. So the general pattern will be sunshine early tomorrow, giving way to more cloud cover late in the day, but it should be a dry day on Saturday. Saturday night, we're going to begin to see some of those isolated showers attempting to make their way into our area after sundown tomorrow and into the overnight hours. May have the best chance of seeing those showers in the north and northwest part of our area and then eventually pushing eastward overnight into Sunday morning. But then as we head through the day on Sunday, I do expect to see a chance of showers and maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder. Not a total washout, but it's going to be a day that you'll have to keep an eye on the radar if you are going to be getting out and about. So tonight, lower 50s for most of the area. There'll be a couple spots from about the city and on southward that we'll see our numbers in the mid 50s, but definitely a cooler than normal night tonight will be about 11 off the norm here in the city. So we'll wake up to a comfortably cool start to the day tomorrow, but warm up quickly back to 62 by 9 a.m. 75 by midday tomorrow and should top right about the same as today, looking at about 80 for the afternoon high tomorrow. Now we are going to cool off temporarily for Sunday and Monday. We'll see the rain showers, a couple rumbles of thunder on Sunday at 75. I think those will continue into early on Monday, at least for the morning hours. We'll get up into the upper 70s on Monday. Once those showers exit, we'll still have some scattered clouds around for Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures will gradually climb back up to around 80 or so by the middle of the week, and we will continue to climb into the late part of next week at 81 by Thursday and 82 by next Friday. But notice all of the numbers, lows and highs over the next seven days running below normal for this time of the year. Okay.